I'm painting this big wall with this roll. It's gonna be a good Hey, wait a minute. You got the same uniform I do. Yeah, we do. What's going on? Uh, I'm here to paint a wall. No, no, I'm here to paint the wall. No, I'm here to paint the wall. No, I'm here to paint the wall. Wait a minute, what's your name? Rico. I'm Rico. No, no, I'm Rico. Hold on a second. I'm Jack Rico. Oh, I'm Rico the Paz. Oh! I get it. You're the guy who's supposed to help and teach how to paint this wall. And you're Rico the Paz the paint expert here at Consumer Reports. That's the whole combination. It's a great combo. All right. But before we start, we got to do a little prep work. Rico de Paz has 13 years of experience testing paint, and he's eager to share it so consumers can make smarter decisions. Rico and his team run a battery of tests, like scrub testing to measure a paint's durability, and coverage testing to see how well a paint will hide and cover a dark color. Step number one, preparation. Good prep will save you hours of heartache. Mask the areas you don't want painted with painter's tape, which won't damage the walls. Push it down. There you go. So now that we got all the newspapers here, what's next? Take this out with the cover off. Why do you have to do that? Instead of having to go around the cover, you can just paint, run the roller coarsely around there, and then when it's dry, you just put the cover back. Nobody will know the difference. All right. With the trim taped, it's time to talk tools. I've been curious about the type of brushes uh, that we need. Actually, there is no good brush, only rollers for walls. Oh, OK. It goes faster and also leaves a, much, a more uniform finish on the wall. Now we got paints. Uh, there's oil paints, there's water paints. Which is the right one for most walls? Water-based paints have gotten so good, there's really no reason to buy an oil-based paint. Okay. In fact, we don't test them anymore. Water-based paint is great, OK? They clean up easily, and not a lot of fumes either. They don't have that paint smell for lasting for weeks at a time. According to Rico, paint consists of several different components to give it color and texture. These components separate over time, so Rico says we need to stir it up to make it nice and uniform. Let me give it a shot. Rico's been painting walls for years, and he says the 4S method is the best way. The first S, saturation. First part of this is to get this, this roller completely saturated in paint. The paint is almost dripping off. There we go. All right, nice and saturated. Now that we saturated the roller, the second S in the group is called smearing the paint. Make a W or an X, whatever you want. The whole idea is you see that the roller has no paint on it. All the paint is now on the wall. Yes. Okay, This now it won't spatter. Okay. Well, the next thing is to get this paint and spread it out. So you can do that by with pushing it any way you want. Typically, you do about a two foot by two foot section. Okay. Last test is to smooth it out. So you go at the top, just overlap the strokes in that there direction. You go. So you smooth it all out to the end. What about the second, third, fourth coating? If you get one of the really good hiding paints, typically one coat will cover everything but pitch black. Okay, so here's another question, Rico. I finished painting the wall and I missed a spot. Do I go back with the roller? Just let it dry. A lot of times, it looks like you missed a spot because that one spot was drying more than the others. And uh, you may not need to touch it up. Here are three more quick tips from Rico. If your paint has drip marks, wait until it dries and use fine sandpaper to remove the drips. Then, retouch the area with a brush. Two, use a quarter inch nap roller for most smooth walls and a longer three eighths of an inch nap roller for rough or uneven walls to make sure paint gets into nooks and crannies. Three, to cut in around trim and windows, use a sash brush with angled bristles. It will give you much better control. Hey, Rico, we're done. Well, thank you so much for the tips, Rico. Rico and by good. the way, I'm looking at this wall and I think I have an idea. Rico and Rico, this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Uh, but I'm the first Rico, right? I'm taller. I'm the first Rico. Yeah, but my first name is Rico. You know what? You're right. But well, you're going to paint my house first. What? You'll need to practice. That's why I taught you. <laughs>